Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the MHD wireless adapter for your N54 powered BMW. So I bought it for a couple of reasons. The first one is for data logging without a wire. Let me show you. It'll plug in over here. Covers up like that. So I believe the way they designed this, you'll be able to put the cover on regardless, but mine is actually busted. So it kind of sits loose in there, but you can cover it up. But I'll leave it open so you can look at the lights. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate on my Android head unit here. So you basically go to Wi-Fi and then you'll find it there. It's already connected. You only got to do it once, but you're going to connect to it and find the adapter named MHD. Now we're going to go to MHD. As you can see there, it's got all my values. As you can see, it blinks away while it's reading from the car. Given I have the Android head unit upgrade, that reason alone would be worth getting this dongle in my opinion. The next major benefit is how fast it can flash a tune. So we're getting the car ready for flashing, headlights off, turning off our climate controls, battery charger on the car. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, so I just clicked on right to flash my custom tune. Let's see how much faster it is now. That's a lot better. So using the Wi-Fi adapter, we're down to 12 minutes on a long right. Used to be 38, and then depending if you have the newer generation ECU, it would be about 20 minutes. So we're cutting it almost in half. So that's definitely an odd sight, uh, but you know what, it works. They must have some fail safes built in to make this safe to do so. It's a lot faster, I like that aspect of it. And if your battery is low, as mine is here, you know, probably not a good idea to flash with a low battery, but I know how long it would last. You could charge while flashing, which is kind of cool. So total ride time was 30 minutes and 30 seconds instead of about 20. One question that comes to mind is, can we keep that plugged in all the time? If I lock the car, will it go to sleep? Let's see. It may take some time, but I'm gonna leave it and see what happens. So you'll be able to make out, it's been about five minutes and it's still on. From what I read, it takes about half an hour for it to go to sleep. Keep that in mind. Uh, I read reports on forums that even if you keep it plugged in for weeks, it won't drain your battery because it only runs for a few minutes, it's low power. Um, but if you have a fresh battery, you don't have much to worry about. So my OBD port is not clicked into place. It broke and it actually happened because I had my cable while I was data logging and it snapped, uh, I kicked it by accident, but it kind of works out cause I can tuck that back in there now. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to do so in the stock location. You may have to omit the cover or, or just snap this off and push it back. I don't know if you guys will want to do that, but mine's already broken. So it can look clean. You won't even notice it's there. So it's going to live there all the time. I'm about to put a fresh battery in my car anyway. So a very handy addition if you have MHD on your N54 powered BMW. They also make it for the F series cars with the N55 such as that X5. It's a different adapter. I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna get one of those. They're about $70. On the F series cars with the N55, it's a little more expensive, but they still make it. So you'll be saving some time with your flashing and most importantly, you'll have wireless data logging which is really handy if you use a tablet or a phone. But in my case, with my Android head unit, it's very clean, it's nice integration, really handy to have. So anyways, if this is the first video you're catching on mine, consider subscribing. I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching.